glaube ich. <lacht> Maybe a bit dry. Very dry. Very dry. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too dry.
not ideal, sand to be dry. Disaster. friends. 
can have a look at the tampers. Pretty sure they're going to be utter pants. Uh, the sand is way too dry. But I thought I would go with dry this time, bone dry, and get the feel of the green sand being bone dry, slightly less dry, slightly less dry, because I've been so used to it being sopping wet, like it's mud, like claggy mud. And I want to try it the other way now, dry and then gradually make it more damp. Pretty sure they're going to be fairly disappointing. Oh, 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 God! Blimey! Oh, it's really hot still. Really hot still. Oh! Wow, the flask is really hot. These feeders have shrunk right down. Super, super far. Let's see how far. That far. That's insane. That's ridiculous. Right, let's have a look. I have to wear gloves, actually. The flask is still very warm. Let's see what happens. Ah, ah, no, need gloves. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of right. This is a terrible place to film. I won't be doing it here again. I'm like hemmed in. Well, they're sort of tamper shaped. This was where the problem arose, the kind of separation between the, the giant feeder and the tamper. I'm hoping I can just kind of go crazy with the cutting disc and fix that. Well, uh, it looks like I've got a tamper or two. Let's take them out. I just put my thumb right into one of those feeders and my god, it's, it was hot. Yeah, it hissed. Wow, okay. What a plonker. Keep forgetting that they're separate. Okay, well, it's hard to tell which is which. I think this is the smaller one. I think here, I got away with that. I'll be able to cut that off there. And these feeders shrunk down massively. Whether there'll be any shrinkage there in there, I don't know. I'll have to cut them off. I'll have to do that in a sec. But this one, this is where the... Uh, See there, that's where the big piece of sand fell out, separating the feeder from the tamper. So that's just a huge blob of bronze now. I would be surprised if there wasn't some shrinkage right in the center of that. It's also going to be fairly difficult to cut that off. Uh, but I will have a look. These look good. Basically I'll cut these bits off and come back. Pretty rough. This is the big one, 4% big. The 
pattern for the smaller one was the exact size to fit inside the Porter filter in PLA. Obviously bronze shrinks. And I increased that PLA version by 4% for this one. So with the shrinkage, maybe this will be a better fit. I don't know. It's sort of an experiment. The good news is, I can, even though there's this terrible uh, big, uh, bit I have to remove here, that's all it is. I've still got a witness line all the way around that I can sand back to. And it looks like the little feeders on the tops worked. They're actually pretty good. So I just need to sort that sand out for next time. That's really cool. I think I'm going to call it a day for tonight. It's quite late. And I'll uh, tidy these up tomorrow. I've got a 20 mile run tomorrow. So we'll see whether I'm fit for it or not. We'll see. I'm not sure. I'll probably, I probably won't even come back in the shed for a week after that. Right. Oh, I tell you what though, dry sand is better than wet sand. Awesome. They're kind of like uh, horn pieces, aren't they? Let's see what the size is. So the diameter of this is This one is 60.8. They look bigger. Actually, I think the small one is going to be the one that works. <laughs>